So I use Biofreeze pretty regularly. I like that it gets absorbed you know, through the, the TheraBand tape, so that, that makes it really handy because previously you know, I didn't want it to take off some type of tape in order to then apply the Biofreeze. So the fact that it gets absorbed in through the tape and through the skin is really handy. Um, I, I, kids you know, at, the, at the high school I work at, um, you know, they, they know uh, when it's acceptable to use some Biofreeze versus ProSage or versus so, some other topical um, you know, emollient. But, um, it's really you know educating them on on why they maybe they don't necessarily need to be icing after every practice. Ice is a big um, it's a big it's actually the number one used modality in a sports medicine realm is, is ice. And um, I I might have my biases against ice, but I fully support biofreeze because I think it does a tremendous job at the cellular level. Uh, not in, not just in regards to pain modulation which, in my opinion, ice is strictly just mo modulating pain. It's, it's uh, maybe doing a little bit more damage at the cellular layer, layer and that's where Biofreeze comes in. Um, so the kids at the high school and the, and the, the undergraduate students, they utilize Biofreeze. Um, you know, they typically use it after um, an exercise, a, a, a weightlifting session, or you know, just all-out competition where they need to start preparing their bodies for the next day of activity. So they, they know, and part, again, part of my job is to educate them that just because the work is done, now the recovery process begins and they got to get themselves mentally and physically ready for the activity that they're, they're, that they're going to have to participate in the next day. So, so Biofreeze is right up there with uh, what they should be using.